And hello, my name is Flash. Today I learned vocabulary word lesson nine. Let's go. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to reading for vocabulary. I'm Lauren Stark. In this lesson, lesson nine, you notice an interesting title. Bravo, Encore. These are words that we say when we see a performance, a band, or somebody does a really good job, and we say, Bravo! Right? Very good job. It's like childhood. Alright? That is the title of this lesson Bravo Encore. Well, we're going about the learning about the new work philharmonic and think about some different sounds and what sounds are good. And back, okay? Well, let's get started. Okay, our first one, the person who leads a musical group. Here we have is a person who leads a musical group. A musical group, right? But that person is the leader of the musical groups, right? Well, who do you call those guys, right? You see, these are magicians in the group, right? And this person here, he's standing up on his leads. Musical room. He's a conductor. A conductor. Mm. Can you see it? Conductor. We said conductor. Okay? Conductor. A really easy word. Conductors. Okay? Okay? So, a conductor is a person who leads a musical room. They're the ones who tell somebody or a whole group what to do the next step, right? A public performance of music. So before we saw the videos, there were many musicians, right? So many. But look at these pictures. There's only one, two or three, maybe number four. There's a guy behind here. This will be band, not an orchestra, but a band. Or orchestra. Sometimes it's just one person, a singer, right? But it's any public performance of music, right? Anytime that somebody plays music for the public. And there's an audience. What do you say that? What we call an event? We said concert. Concert it is a public performance of music for everyone, right? It's a concert. Okay, what we say we have here is concert, right? Many men will it. it doesn't matter. When you go and listen to music, it's called a concert. You've gone to a concert. Next one, our device for playing music. Well, those are all kinds of devices that can vibrate to make music here. Here we have is a violin, and guitar, and trumpet. We say all of those things, instrument. We say instrument, instrument, okay? Instrument or instruments, plural, right? Because here we see there's many things, right? Such as the trumpet, mm, um, violin, many arrows, right? And the trombones. There's many kinds of instrument. Many kinds of instruments. We have here's violin here and a tuba, right? The tuba is the big horn, right? That goes all on a person. It is the big bow out there, right? There you go. Okay, that's the two bar. Now you have a violin. Our tars is its instrument. A flute is an instrument. There are many types of instruments, devices for playing music and instruments. Okay? Next one. A large group of musicians who play together. They play together. Don't say for harmonic. For harmonic is the name of one of these. We're looking for orchestra. Orchestra. Before I say orchestra, I say the word concert, right? In concert, I also say orchestra here. The Philharmonic is the name of our orchestra, right? It is the name of that orchestra. An orchestra, right? It's a large group of magicians who play together. They play together in large groups, right? Each playing different instrument, right? You may have a room of people who play the violin, a room of people who just sings, right? Or a group of people here, they're playing the violin, or this, he's playing the flute. 
Here's playing the piano, right? We say all of them in a room, we say an orchestra, okay? Okay, our next one, a room of people who watch or listen to something. We say all of them are audience, right? Audience, so this is the important thing. The audience is all of these people, not one, right? You cannot say, ah, uh, he is an audience. No, he is not an audience. He's part of the audience. The audience is a big group of watchers, of people who watch and listen to something. So don't say, he is the audience, or don't say audiences. Right? No, the audience, right? Or maybe you saying he is a one that is in the part of that audience, right? Audience members. He is an audience member. Or I would say members, right? No one say the audiences, right? I know it's only one audience. It's one group, like one team, right? Our next one here we have is a thin stick used to the great a musical group. Here we have a stick. Let's say he has a stick that he wave like this of the audience. Like you go, you guys play, okay? You guys, and he's used that stick to show the riffs or people to play the music, right? He is stick. What is the stick? We say that stick baton, baton, okay? Baton, a baton. So the conductor uses batons to lead our or when he conducts an orchestra, right? Our next one, a person to perform and write music. Well, they have a job to perform music and also write those music, right? Some people just play music. Somebody else who they just wrote it, they just read it on a paper and they play it. But somebody who performs and writes those music, we say the musician, right? And we say somebody who writes music and play music like this, we also can say them composer. Composers are really a uh, polite word of saying a uh, musician, right? Composer, but this is just saying that. Um, famous composer, right? We can say, of course, there are musicians, okay? Next one, a large number of people. So a large number of people, we say them crowd, crowd, okay? When there's many, many, many people, right? We see them. They're all in a crowd, right? That's many, many, many people together. You can say it's a crowd. So if you go to the baseball game, you can see there's a crowd of people here, right? The audience understand that it's a crowd place, right? Our next one, to guide or control something. We say lead, lead. To guide or to control something, we say then lead, okay? Maybe he is leading his team on playing those hockeys, right? Lead is an error. So change is firm in the past tense. Lead, let, let. Okay? Lead, let, let. So when we talk about this verb we use in the past, we use let. Okay? We don't use let. Leads in the word, okay? Or next one, to make something happen in a certain way. If something happens in a certain way, right? What do we say that thing? Here I have a calendar with many things in it and somebody smart. There are 14 and they did with our love sign. So what is that? That looks to me like it's February 14. That is Valentine, right? I don't know, but I'm just because February 14 is Valentine. And the heart stands for Valentine's Day, right? So things counter is showing it's Valentine's Day. What about you? What do you think? 14 is my brother because it's Valentine's Day. One boyfriend and girlfriend say that for each other. Okay, but anyway, so what are they doing? They're marking something happen in a certain way. Well, we say that set, right? We set something to happen in a certain way. 
We make something happen. So when it is an irregular word, we say sad, 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 sad. We don't say sad, okay? Next one, a large room for meetings or concerts. Well, this room is just for meetings or concerts, right? But it's also really large, not just a new, not just a common room like this, right? We say tall, right? Hall, okay? Well, hall, right? A place where many, many people come in to have meetings or to have concerts. To become full, we said feel, right? We, if we make something to be full, we are feeling something, right? Look at the sky. It has fall by the stars, right? So, if there's many people in a crowd of people, they will fill the hall. They make it full. There's no more room for our people. Okay? Or next one. To move slowly in water or in the air. If they're moving slowly in the water or in the air, we say, oh, here we have is a ball, right? To move them slowly in water or in the air, right? We say it. What do we say? We have a word, a certain word to say something that's moving slow in water or in the air. We say float. So this ball here, right, it can float on the surface of the water. If something flies just in the air, you know, it doesn't have any control. It just kind of floats in a crazy way, right? You blow it all the little bubbles to float away. They're flowing too slowly in the air or in the water. Okay, well, float. Come to our vocabulary exercise. The pianist first, something was held last year. The pianist orchestra was held last year. The only musical instrument I can play is the piano. Next. I want it to enter the room by the door is locked. Last night, see something, a concert on the piano. Last night, she performed. Do you think so? Yes, that's right. Or next one. All the people watch the historic event on television. He is the lead. No, he is the conductor of this room. He's the leader of this group, right? There was a large concert in the music hall, right? A full-size orchestra is called Philharmonic. Well, today we've learned about sounds. Learn about where good and bad sounds, right? Well, you see, now there's many style of sounds that you can listen from rock, to country music, right? For soft music to loud music, from high to low, there's all kinds of sounds that you can buy. Maybe somebody's like that sounds, but somebody else like that song, right? Because different people have different style of music. But well, what's your favorite style of music? Mine is K-pop. K-pop is the best. How about you? Please tell me. Do you like pop music? If you do, please tell me. I would love to hear that from you.